life with super king size bed. Ah. Uh, sheets are blooming massive. There's nowhere big enough to put them to dry. Good morning vloggy vlogsters. Hello and welcome to another weekly vlog. I'm Emily Jane. If you are new, um, like and subscribe for lots of weekly vlog stuff, lifestyle, travel, loads of laundry. Um, I promise the laundry stuff will stop soon. Uh, so this week, I haven't vlogged all week, um, mostly because of the aforementioned laundry. It's not been particularly exciting. And I feel like the last couple of weeks since we got back from Japan, all I've shown you is me doing laundry. So I'm trying <laughs> to uh, kind of, you know, show you some more exciting things. And I've got loads on over the next couple of days, today especially. So I thought if I just vlog all week, it's gonna be really long and boring and then all the fun stuff, most of you probably stop watching by then. So there you go. Um, so today, oh, I'm out of breath, I'm going upstairs. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> Uh, today, I am just off into uh, Birmingham City Centre. I am going to Monsoon in Grand Central to check out their autumn winter collection, which I'm really excited about. I'm then gonna meet the lovely Ting from the Ting Thing for uh, some lunch, and we're gonna hipster it out, and we're gonna go to Serial Killer Cafe, I think, um, which has just opened in Birmingham. And then later on, Dan and I are going to a Polish cultural event, which is one of those things that I got invited to as a, a kind of blogger, YouTuber, um, and it just sort of said like, we know this isn't your area, but we're just trying to get as many people involved with it as possible, um, and we just want those people to experience it. And it sounded really interesting, and just the type of thing that I would never get invited to and never get involved with if I wasn't doing um, all this bloggy, YouTube -y stuff. So I like to try and take advantage of those kind of opportunities when they come. So it's an evening of Polish um, cinema and music and food. And I'm really just think that's gonna be, yeah, I'm intrigued. I'm really looking forward to it. And it's over in Digbeth as well. And pretty much everything that happens in Digbeth is cool. So yeah, overall pretty hipster day actually. <laughs> right, gotta go. So um, come on, let's go into town. shopping suite at Monsoon and the lovely ladies here have picked me out a bit of a colourful capsule wardrobe um, so I am starting with this gorgeous rusty coloured coat and lovely sweater and how cute is this pom-pom scarf right time to get trying on tour of the personal shopping suite all in a curtained off area and then I've already spread all my stuff right here hello uh, lovely little seating area coffee and biscuits I could have had Prosecco though if it was a bit later in the day and here are all the clothes that they put to one side for me and here is the lovely big changing room on to evening wear now. Loving this eye cap print. Christmas. I just need to find a Christmas party to go to you now. 
picked up a few bits. Okay, that's some errands run, that's what I've worked on. Time to go out and meet King at Serial Killer. Ting has got Oreos. There's Oreos and Reese's Puffs with hazelnut milk. That sounds pretty exciting. I did not film my very blustery <laughs> journey home. Serial killer was awesome. Um, yeah, I have to say, I was mildly cynical about it. Not so cynical I wouldn't go. I was lured in by the promise of bright colours and sugar. Um, but yeah, like I didn't think it was that badly priced. Um, I just had a bowl of cereal. Uh, I didn't have one of the milkshakes or hot chocolates. I definitely want to go back and have a stacked hot chocolate. Stacked hot chocolates look amazing. It was 90s and early noughties music blasting the whole time. Cereal was actually really delicious. So um, yeah, mine was a sticky monkey, which is like caramel cereal and banana cereal and chocolate cereal, um, banana flavored whipped cream, banana milk, and then had like caramel drizzled all over it. It was so good. Ting said hers was amazing as well. She had like a Reese's peanut butter pieces in hers and Oreos. So yeah, I would definitely go back. And I got to sit on a Buffy themed bed. Like what is not to like? <laughs> so, and the coffee was quite good as well. So yeah, so that was brilliant. I do feel like I've reached peak hipster now. Um, but I would go back. I'm gonna try and convince Dan. Dan thought it was just like too hipster. He didn't want to go. I think he would absolutely adore those hot chocolates. So I'm gonna try and convince him to, uh, to go. So you may well see uh, that on the vlog again. So now I'm back home. It's like, <sighs> what time is it? It's like half five, it was a bit of a, I didn't meet Ting till like half, well, like quarter to three in the, that I met her, so it was a bit of a late lunch. Um, and I'm back home, I've probably got an hour before Dan gets home and we need to leave to go to the Polish thing, so I might try and sneak a nap in. <laughs> I'm really tired. I'm a bit hormonal, just a bit wiped out, so yeah, I might have a sneaky nap. But I wanted to just show you, because I obviously, um, it was a bit shoppy as well. I picked up a few things. So I just want to show you what I picked up in good vlog style. Uh, that is a half empty bottle of water. That's not exciting. So what did I get? I got from Selfridges uh, some Bumble and Bumble hair powder. This is the most ridiculously expensive dry shampoo in the world. It's £28 a bottle. £28. Um, but it is the only fragrance free and like um, allergen free dry shampoo that I found and I need dry shampoo in my life and it's actually it's really really good it is oh, phone's beeping uh, it is really really nice just need to see who that is now oh it's Nutella Tasha just liking the fact that I was tweeting about seeing Tink um <laughs> so, hi Tasha if you're watching this hi Tink um so yeah it's really really good so i actually don't use that much of it whereas like i get through about a can of batiste a week <laughs> but batiste like three quid and this is 28 pounds so if anyone knows any other fragrance free preservative free or well, specifically benzoate free um dry shampoos on the market please let me know in the comments because you'll be doing my bank account a great favor um but yeah so really expensive dry shampoo <laughs> and some moisturizer again sensitive skin it's uh there we go uh the roche posay tolerane ultra 
uh, moisturiser because my skin seems to, that's fine. I'm not allergic to anything in that. Uh, what else is in here? Ooh, Christmas cards. Oh, slight hint to the Christmas cards there. You know, some people who watch these might be getting some. I don't want to spoil it. Uh, so we've got the Christmas cards. So I'm feeling, oh yeah, so bang on top of Christmas now. I'm not at all. My best friend has done all of her Christmas shopping. That is my first attempt at Christmas shopping. Um, some headphones from Tiger because I keep losing my headphones. Yes, I found them the other day after my, my vlog. Remember that? I couldn't find them. I'll link to that. I found them. I can't find them again now. So I bought two pairs of three pound headphones <laughs> uh, from Tiger. Um, and I actually, so I've got a spare and, uh, and one to use. I've actually got one pair in my handbag now. I use them whilst I'm doing some work. Not the best quality, but you know, they're fine. They will do. I actually want some nice, like big over ear hip headphones for Christmas. I have asked for some. Um, I'm hoping I won't lose those because they'll be big and easier to keep track of. What else is in here? Uh, oh, false eyelashes. Really loving. I thought I was an Ardell Demi Wispy girl for life, but I'm actually really loving the three quarter length um, Fleur de Force eye lashes. Um, they're brilliant. I bought them in a bit of a kind of, um, oh, make my arm hurt. Uh, I bought them when I hadn't bought my eye lure glue with me somewhere because um, I'm allergic to duo, which is very upsetting, but I'm okay with the eye lure glue. Um, and yeah, so I bought a pack so that I could have some eye lure glue to use on my Demi Wispies. And then I thought I'd give the eyelashes a go. And I really, really like them. They're really good. Go Fleur de Force. So anyway, so I bought a pair of those. So I might wear those tonight. Um, in any case, I have occasions coming up where I quite like a false lash and I quite like a three quarter lash. I usually chop the ends off my Demi Wispies anyway. So I bought two pairs of those because they were three for two with this, which is the, um, uh, it's the Real Techniques Silicon Eyeliner Brush. Um, which I bought because I'm using gel liner now because again allergies so I'm not allergic to the Laura Mercier gel eyeliner pots and I, I'm so glad I found them they are amazing um what I do find is that with a gel liner you need to wash your brush like straight away otherwise it sets rock solid and you can't use it again and even if you spot clean it which you know I'll give it a bit of a wipe off um it's still not great the next day so I'm like yeah just need more eyeliner brushes basically when I'm using those and I thought that looked really interesting with the silicon tip I've got no idea whether that'll work or not but it was in three for two so yeah that happened I think there's anything else in my bag no just the lovely lovely dress that the ladies from Monsoon gave me right this is cutting into my nap time now so I'm gonna have a little nap and uh yeah, I'll catch you later when we go out for some Polish fun. Time for some Polish culture. <laughs> Sunday. So I had a really busy day on Friday as you saw yesterday I was in the studio styling which I totally meant to kind of wave at you from the studio and uh, you know chat to you in there about colours and all that sort of thing but then um, the road was closed and the car park was closed so although I did manage to get there in time and get everything straight and ready for my client when they arrived um, it was only just and I did not have time to vlog and then I was tired afterwards uh, but we went out for some dinner with my parents for Dan's birthday I think his birthday celebrations are officially done now <laughs> um, and yeah and then came home and went to bed so I had some nice ribs 
that was about it and then it was so dark in the restaurant like it was a nice dinner but it was so noisy and so dark in the restaurant that we went to it was just impossible to vlog so I gave up on that and so yeah there you go that was the exciting introduction to Sunday wasn't it and Sunday's even more exciting because uh, yeah it's like a getting shizzle done day today you see I have you know strip so I'm halfway through stripping the bed doing exciting things like we're trying to figure out how to program our heating. We've got underfloor electric heating in this flat because as in most flats, we don't have any gas, so we don't have any central heating, all the grown up fun stuff. And um, so I have been trying to work out how to program that. If you look at the thing, it's really confusing. So here's just the one in the bedroom. So we just have this and it's saying that it's 26 degrees in here at the moment, which I do not believe. And there's all these buttons. I thought I'd figured it out, but A, it's 26 degrees in here at the moment, and B, it's got the little, it's saying it's 26, which is not, it's also got the little, it's going to focus, yeah, it's got the little thing to say like we're out at the moment and it's meant to be like on nighttime mode because it's like the day and it's fine, we don't need it on during the day usually, but as I'm walking around, my feet are definitely feeling like this coziness going on under that floor. So I thought I'd cracked it, but it feels like the heating's on when it's not meant to be on. It's only meant to be on if it's like less than 14 degrees in here, which although I don't think it's 26, I don't think it's less than 14 either. So yeah, fun stuff. I'm gonna put the winter duvet on the bed. Ooh, so exciting. <laughs> and yeah, just generally have a tidy up. Um, you know, put away all that washing that I've been doing over the last three weeks or whatever that you've seen on the vlog. Um, gonna pop out and see my grandparents later. Just a bit of a, a kind of, yeah, getting things straight day, really. I know Dan wants to put some pictures up as well. I don't know whether we're gonna get around to that because we still, you know, there's a picture up there you can see in the background, but literally all I've done is hang pictures on nails that were already up from the previous owners. So, there's loads to do. <laughs> Okay, so winter duvet's on the bed and the bed is all made. Pictures are up, you saw that. Um, I really like these pictures actually, I don't think. I don't know if I ever showed you them in the old flat. Let's go and have a look at them. Ooh, Dan's got crazy music on. Yeah, so basically they are lino prints, um, kind of limited edition lino prints that we got from an art fair at the MAC. God, maybe even a couple of years ago now. Yeah, I think it was. Um, in fact, I do remember, I remember doing a vlog saying I bought some art. Probably linked to that in this somewhere if I remember. Um, but yeah, so those are up now and we really love those because they're obviously like Birmingham related and we love being brummies, we love living here. So that's done, I've done some more washing, of course. Um, generally had tidy up in the bedroom, looking a lot neater and tidier now. So, uh, yeah, oh, and, you know, put actual clothes on instead of pyjamas. So just gonna go and uh, visit my grandparents. Then I think we'll try and fit a few more jobs in when we get back. So all that washing I've been doing, our washing machine's broken. <laughs> 